So this is episode one of our France tour. 12th of July. It's baking hot already. It's about half past seven at night. We get the Euro Tunnel on the 23rd. Sat there the 23rd. Over to Calais. Pop over to Dunkirk. Then down to Chartres. Then down to Limoges. Up to Le Mans. Then up to Cane. And then we get the ferry back. So I'm not doing it on the VFR this year. I've got some at new. There it is. That's the new beast behind me. If you can see it. So there's 12 of us going. So it's going to be good. Let's go and have a look at this new bike. On an NT1100. Courtesy of Honda UK. Gave me the bike to take to France. But it's a lovely machine. So there's my VFR. The plan was I was going to be going to France on that. But when Honda contacted me and said, would you like to go to France on a brand new bike? It'd be rude to turn it down. So that's what I've got. So what I did, I took my tank bag ring off the VFR, but it wouldn't fit. So I've had to buy one. So I've got the BF30 is the ring what fits this, but what I can do, I can always take it off when I take the bike back. Comes with hard luggage. There's the panniers. It's not got a top box on it, but I don't need a top box. And I've worked out for the France tour, I can get everything in the panniers. So what I'm going to do is one side of the panniers, I'm going to have my clothes. And I'll use the inner bag to take to the hotel with me. The other pannier I'll use to keep me waterproof seeing my tyre inflator, things like that. Stuff I can stay on the bike. So I only need to take one bag up to the hotel room. So we're just starting to get stuff ready now. I went out to down it on the motorway just to see what the screen's like, what position to have the screen in. Because we've got a bit of motorway work to do. So I thought I'd see what it's like on the motorway. See how good it was. So this is the beginning of our France tour, episode one. Yeah, I think I'll, um, I'll put a few little video clips in of what I'm going to do luggage-wise. So I'm only going to have my tank bag and the two panniers. Don't need a lot for France. We're doing seven days, six nights six hotels so my brilliant idea is i bought boxer shorts and socks for each night but obviously wearing them all day at the moment there it's about 36 to 38 degrees so we're heading down towards Limoges so we'd set up down there so what I'm going to do at the end of the day I'm going to throw my boxer shorts and my socks in the bin I ain't going to stink stink i ain't gonna stick stinking old boxer shorts and socks in my panniers for the week so they're going in the bin so what i'll have is t-shirts a couple of pairs of shorts my flip-flops my bathroom stuff toothpaste shower gel shampoo and then the other one will just be all my waterproofs and that right so let's have a little look at some of the footage of how I've got on so far with the bike. I've not gone through everything yet. I haven't fully sussed out the PlayStation 5 here and how all that works. I've had a bit of a go with it. I've got Apple CarPlay working on it. Got my Ultimate Add-ons phone mount ready for my maps. I've had a play with the cruise control. I've got that sussed. But it's a lovely bit of kit. And anyway, let's have a look at the video. Right. So we're going to have a look at these panniers. Right, I'm just decorating the all at the minute, so that's why all the rubbish is in here. Right, let's get this camera on the tripod. Right. So this is what we've got packed for France. So all I'm taking are the two panniers. There's no top box on the NT1100. So in this pannier, we have... This one's my clothes. So I've got a pair of shorts. I've got my other shorts here. So I'm taking two pairs of shorts, six pairs of socks, six pairs of pants, 
six t-shirts instead of folding them i roll them up it, that stops them creasing and one zip hoodie so just in case it is a bit cold of a night i can put the hoodie on i'm not taking any jeans there's one pair of shorts there's the other pair of shorts so that's my clothes six t-shirts six socks six pants one zip hoodie i'll take my flip-flops my flip-flops have got to go in here and i've got my bike jeans and my bike gear so what i'm going to do is this pannier bag is what i'm going to take to the hotel room with me i'm going to leave the hard luggage on the bike so all i need to carry is that one bag in this bit here i've got my toiletries so i'm taking deodorant shampoo i ain't taking shower gel i'll just use shampoo toothpaste and a toothbrush that's it that's all i'm taking no shower gel or i'm bothered with that all right so what i'm gonna do is toiletries can go in this bag just in case any of it leaks so that's all my toiletries and then what i'm going to do in there as well i'm going to put my usb charger with all my cables to charge the cameras up so all that's going to go in there And that should fit quite nice and easy. Let's have it here. Easy. Look at that. That's that pan you're done. This pan, yeah. What I'm going to do in this one, which I've already packed it, I'm going to have my hydration pack, which I'll be wearing in the day because it's going to be 30 odd degrees. So in this pan, your bag, we have got waterproof trousers, waterproof jackets at the bottom, just in case I need it, a lock. What else have we got? My drone. So there's my drone and the remote. We've got a tyre inflator in there and midi slock. And then what I'll do with this pannier bag, because there's nothing in there I need, I will leave this in the pannier on the bike overnight. Yeah, okay, I'm taking a bit of a risk with the drone in there, but it's only a cheap drone. It's not like piggies. There's my tire inflator. There's my disc lock. So this pannier, I don't even need to take to the room in the hotel. I can just leave that on the bike. I've just got stuff I need while I'm out on the bike. I don't actually need it in the hotel. So the only thing I've got left to pack is my tank bag. So I'll just need to put my documents, passports, that in the tank bag, my vape charger, my wallet, uh, USB bank, sunglasses, Euro plugs to plug in the hotel, and maybe some other bits and pieces, some spare change in there. My spare camera will be in there. This one, which I'm recording on now, my handheld camera, that one will go in there. And that's it. Two panniers, one tank bag, seven days in France. That's all I need. Right, let's have a look at packing what we're going to have in that tank bag. So here we go. Here's the tank bag. 
So in the top part, we've got documents, Euro plugs, COVID passes, Euro tunnel tickets, ferry tickets home, visor wipe, thunder puck, in case you're on dodgy ground for the stand, my high vis vest, more Euro plugs. So all that will go in there. In the main bit, power bank, so I can plug my camera in through the front, handheld camera, my spare camera, in case the camera and my helmet fails, wallet with my money in, USB charger, earplugs, sunglasses, vape juice, and then in my compartment, I've got my Garmin sat nav at the top, memory cards, and my spare GoPro batteries. Then all I've left to put in is my battery charger for my vape. That'll go in this pannier bag with my clothes, and so will my USB multibank charger. That'll go in there. This power bank will go under the back seat on the bike in case I'm going to have a rear-facing camera. And that's it. That's the setup of the tank bag. So it's Friday now. We finish work. I'm leaving at 7 in the morning. It's looking a bit bright. It's going to be dry tomorrow. So we've got an early set off. We meet it up at 7. And then we're heading down to the tunnel. So the next video you'll see will be one of the edited videos from France. So we'll see you then. Oosh!